Hey guys, Jeremy here and today I have another Illustrator CC tutorial for you. If First up, we're going to boot up Illustrator and I'm going to show you to how to use the gradient tool. We're going to go to Window on the top left hand corner and just go down and open your swatches and your gradient. As you can see there, pop those up and they'll you know, load up on the side. First off, what a gradient is, is a transition between two colors from one hue to the other and it's a smooth transition. So as you can see here, I've got the circle and it goes from light blue to dark blue. It's really easy. So first off, you always got to select the shape first. So I'm going to zoom in a bit, select the shape. And as you can see on the right hand side, I'm going to go to my gradient panel. There's two different types of gradients. There's linear and there's radial. So what linear is, is pretty much horizontal and vertical. You know, it's a linear, it's a straight line, you know, left to right, up and down. If I click on the type box and I click radial, it's what radial does is, you know, it makes it, um, like a circle comes from the middle or it refers to radius. So, you know, circular motion, it's round. So those are the two different types. I'm going to click back to linear. And first off, I'm going to sh show you how to change the angle of the color. So as you can see down here, this is the angle box. I can type in 45 degrees or if I can go to the click just on the right, the drop down menu, and you can click any of these angles. So if, if you want a 90 degree angle, it'll, now it's 90 degrees or 180, you know, you can do, you can change it pretty easily. So let's change that back to zero. And another way you can flip, a way you can flip the colors is you click on the left hand side here, reverse gradient. So what that does is actually flips the gradients of the colors, which is pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do now is gonna add colors to the gradient slider. So make sure you have your shape selected. And I'm just gonna go to my swatches panel. And I'm just gonna start dragging a few colors in make a rainbow or it looks very ugly. <laughs> yeah. So now you can see the circle, all the colors have been added with the gradient and I have all these new colors. If you want to duplicate colors, what you do is you hold alt or option and you click and drag on the sliders and it actually duplicates the sliders and you can add as many as you want. Pretty much it's, you know, it's awesome. If I wanted to quickly delete any sliders, all I have to do is select them and click the delete button on this little bin here on the right. Or a quick way is to click and drag down. So click, drag down. And as you can see, I can quickly and easily, you know, delete the sliders that I don't want. So I'm going to get rid of these. Like that, really quick and easy. You can also change the opacity of sliders. So if you don't want to be really dominant, I'm going to change this dark blue and make it a bit lighter. So I'm going to change the opacity to 40%. So now the opacity is making it more transparent. I can put it to zero if I want. So now it's white to blue which is pretty cool. And I'm going to change it back to hundred percent. What also another thing we can do is we can determine on how much color you want. All you got to do is as I'm, as you can see, I'm sliding this little diamond slider up the top and it just moves the position of the colors and where it starts and stops the little location bar down the bottom here. You can change the location or type it in. If I want it to be like 40%, it's going to move the slider automatically. And I can move these up like this and move this one in. And as you can see, it will make a sharp cut gradient. But if you want more smooth, you know, it's better to have the the slider at 50%, I'd, rec I'd say, in, in the middle of the two sliders. And it makes it look nicer and cleaner. So what else you can do, you can actually add gradients to strokes. So as you can see, these two boxes here, if I press Shift X, that's going to shift um, my circle to a fill to a stroke and I'm just going to increase the stroke here the top left So now I'll make this a bit smaller. So now I've got a stroke and I've got to click on this box here So now you can always just press shift X and it will quickly shift to a stroke, which is pretty easy um, And what I'm going to do now on the stroke you can actually have the gradient function differently So it's got three options here one is apply the gradient within the stroke the other is along the stroke and the third one is across the stroke so as you can see I'm just going to hide that for a second. And if I click these, you can see it's done that type of gradient, which is pretty cool. Good for icons or this one from the outside. So it just pretty much just changes whether it's from the inside or the outside and you know, how it's functioning on the stroke with the anchor points, which is pretty cool. The best way is just to play around with it. You know, you can come up with cool effects and pretty much that's how you use the gradient tool guys. If you want to save gradients, the top left hand corner of where the big box of the color is, you can click that, 
and this current gladiator that I have selected, I'm going to click that and I can go click this button here. It'll, it's like a little download button it looks like and you click add to swatches. So now that gradient is added. So if I delete this and I get a square or something, I can just click, if I change the color, and I can just click on the gradient and it will add it like that really easily. So you can save that or you can use pre-used gradients. It saves it in this little panel here. Just click that little arrow and yeah, you're good to go. So I'll just show you a few examples of how gradients are used. As you can see, I've made like a gold and like a chrome metal type of gradient or color, which is pretty awesome. I'm just gonna get rid of that so you can see better. So yeah, it's pretty easy. All I've got, I'll show you in the bar, all these different colors. Pretty much there's just grays and whites and you can see that, you know, it's, it comes up with this cool effect and this one just yellow and a bit darker to make it a smooth transition. You can also use it for mock-ups as well, which I think is really great. As you can see, these three are all shapes. All it is is a gradient, as you can see from white to black. I'll recreate this one for you on the bottom. So what we do, you just get a square, line it up, drag it down like this, we'll round the corners a bit, and then there you have it, that's all we do. And then you drag a white, so we got white and then we got black. So now it gives the effect of a shadow and it makes it look like it's real and it's tangible. It makes it look 3D as well, like sitting on a table. We also added this gradient in the back, so it's like a background. It looks like it's on a table sort of thing. You give, you, see, the best way is you're giving an illusion to the clients. When you're sending concepts, you give, you know, it's good to add these little effects and, and you can save these, you know, in your, in your palettes. And this is also a reflection on the iPad. It's just a diagonal shape and it gives like a little reflection, shows like the lights coming from above. So it makes it look real. So yeah, there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks guys.